Welcome back to Market Pros and let's get right into it. All right, so here we have Bitcoin on the one hour. Uh, we're probably going to stay on the one hour for today because, I mean, we kind of got a range here. Uh, so actually, we'll cover it on this and then we'll go to the range chart. Um, so, yeah, as I said, you got a range at about 47,000 to 45. 800 actually we could even go down to 45 700 um your rsi is in the neutral median zone uh we are above the signal line right now looks like we broke above it came back down for retest now we are resuming off we need to stay above 46 187 in order to stay above the ema signal line your macd is basically riding that zero line converging and diverging away from it um negative momentum is waning so we need to get back above we need to stay above 46 150 in order to keep rising we need to get back above 46 460 in order to break the signal line to the upside uh so volatility is pretty high uh it's starting to pick up after this last downside move kind of had a little bit of a fake out we did get rejected from the vpvr uh resistance and this last uh lot of volume in here you know we had this bart you know and the top side is where we get all this volume that became resistance so let's move on to the range chart okay so on the range chart basically closed above the uh Bolin, top side bollinger band but it was a fake out usually when you close above it it'll increase your upside momentum uh the bollinger bands is a volatility indicator uh so came back down bounced off the bottom side bollinger band came back up now it seems we're having some trouble getting above that middle moving average stochastic uh, is pointing upwards right now. We did come back down for the retest of the signal line. Resumption off. Uh, volatility is high. As we said, we already covered RSI. So basically what I'm thinking is we do break this moving average to the upside. Come up here. Try to break this top side Bollinger Band. I do think that this will break to the upside. We did make a higher low. We did make a higher high. So we're still operating on higher highs, higher lows. And most of your, well, all your momentum indicators are barely bullish, but they are more bullish than bearish. Now, validation of the downside would be to break below 45,700 on a one hour closure. Then I would expect us to come all the way back down to the VPVR support and this last low at 44,400. Uh, so if we break that, I think we go to the mid 30s. Uh, we don't want to do that. Yeah, we don't want to break 44,400. Because uh, that will cascade with a lot of downside momentum. And, you know, with the Bollinger Bands, you know, the last time we hit these lows on like the five day uh we have had like big moves like 40 percent moves so we don't want to do that because that, that could lead us to low 30s mid 30s maybe even a little lower but if we do break up you know that's going to lead us up a lot higher probably to like uh like 56k since that signal was printed maybe even higher um you know maybe low 60s so yeah those are my thoughts for bitcoin uh everyone have a great morning great afternoon great evening and i will see you in the next one